So here is the brand new Swiss Tech 30 in 1 multi tool and this is this is wild. It's just got a lot of things going on and I'm not sure what to think about it. So let's go over some of its features. Now perhaps some of the most common features will be in the end of the handle. We have seen a lot of these. So this comes in at 11.4 ounces or 323.1 grams. This comes in at $56, so it's not extremely cheap. It is four and three quarters inch long or about 12 centimeters long. So it's just shy of four and three quarters, but really close. So what we can do here is we can open the knife and we do have locking implements. So all these implements will lock. And so here is the knife, but it does feel like some of these tools on the handle here are a little bit thinner than perhaps we would get on something of similar size. For instance, this is the DL30 size frame, or perhaps even a little bit longer, but these tools have to be a little bit thinner and skinnier due to the mechanism of the plier head. Now on the knife, I find this sort of odd. I feel like this is almost put on the wrong side of the tool, like it should go over here, because usually these serrations it seems like you see them on the other side. So let's go ahead and bring, this is an HX Outdoors tool. I guess this is the same way, so perhaps not. But what we see right here is essentially the wave. So they are essentially using a wave size implements in a surge size frame because of the plier heads being a little bit bulkier. Then we have this file which again seems to have been cut a little bit so that it fits right and doesn't get in the way of the mechanism. And this file doesn't look extremely well cut to me, but it is a file. So I do feel like these implements feel a little bit thinner. Perhaps not. Maybe it's just because the tool is so bulky, but they do, I don't know, they just have a little bit thinner feel to them as opposed to the weight of the tool. All right, so let's look at the inside implements. So when you open these up, you have essentially a lot of the things you'll find in a, like a wave copy. Now, this is a little different. This is, I guess, to, let's see, let's bring this over here. So this will be a cable cutter. So that is more of an electrician's tool, I guess. And so they added that in there and it's, it feels pretty sharp. Here is your strap cutter and then you have your scissors. So definitely a little bit of a different tool set. Let's go ahead and grab some paracord. Of course, we always have to use paracord, but it does give us a little bit idea compared to other multi-tools. And this actually works pretty good, even though these are a smaller set of scissors they do seem to perform pretty good. You have locks on each side. And then on the other side, we will have the normal quarter inch bed driver that is standard and wave and surge clones anymore. So that is pretty good. This is the bald detent double-sided bit driver. So no huge surprise there. And then we do have inches and centimeters on the frame as well. And these frames do, they are Swiss Tech sort of attempt at becoming a little bit more upper class, I guess you could say. And either you probably hate them or love them. Now on the end of the frame, this is a really unique uh, throwback to the uh, SOGS power lock system or uh, their compound leverage system with the gears. And as far as I know, this is just essentially, you don't have any gears in there. This is just for looks. So this is, this is similar to SOG's uh, system right here. So let's, let's bring out this. So let's see. We have the compound leverage. Now I guess maybe it is similar. So that we have the compound leverage all right, so let's see. Yeah, it is simpler. Okay. 
So then you are able to get a fair amount of force on there. So let's compare that to this. All right. Okay, so I, I really, I guess, hadn't looked at my saw closely to see how the compound leverage system worked. So it is very similar to SOGS. That's, that is unique. So essentially, they have adopted the compound leverage system. And on this side, you have the needle nose pliers. And these, this is the SOG Power Access Deluxe in reference. So it is fairly close, actually, to the same frame size. Now, the pliers are a little bit thicker on this. This is a little bit thinner pliers. So let's bring again the HX Outdoors. This is a Leatherman Wave copy, similar to the Multi-Force. And these are a little bit thicker as well. So these are a little bit of a thinner plier system. And then you don't have removable, removable cutters. You just have the regular cutters. And one of the things I notice, and let's see, let's bring this here. One of the things I notice is that it does look like these pliers are not machined correctly. You can see right here in the middle, it seems like they're almost catching and that there's an opening on the end. Now, I was able to actually pull one of the hairs on my arm. I was just curious how much leverage you could get. And it actually did pull that. So you can grab paper on just the end here and you can definitely get leverage but it feel it looks like it should meet together a lot better so for instance this is sogs and you can see on the end comes to together a little bit better on the end so where this seems to have a little bit of a high spot right there and i think what that does is on the other side of this system it really distorts these pliers. So these pliers are way open and that's that's the furthest I can get them closed. And I think some of that is because these are meeting right there. And so you don't have any more room to close these pliers. So in the pictures right here, it definitely shows both of these closed. So I assume that I got a bad set, but I can't tell for certain until I see, you know, other people uh, having them and see other reviews and so forth, but it does look like this was not perhaps machined correctly. So that's unfortunate. It's around $60. Now, I'm not too concerned because I feel like I can, anything I need to really use the dedicated small pliers for, I can use this side. And then this side, I would use for larger objects anyway. So it's not a huge concern. But, I mean, it's definitely not how it should be. I mean, that's a very big gap. So, now, I, one of the things I was a little bit worried is, will it strip the wire correctly? So, I don't have a bunch of wire uh, actually here, but let's go ahead and grab um, this wire right here, see how it does. So, this is probably a larger, let's see here. I forget which gauge this is. So that strips it pretty good right there. Uh, no real issue in there. So I may have to get some smaller wire in the future and try to see how it strips the, the uh, smaller wire as well. So here we have, and that those cutters work really well. So here we have this. And then let's go ahead and use these and then yeah that strips very well so yeah this definitely seems to work and this is as of right now i think maybe the only multi-tool with dedicated uh, wire cutters that has any sort of good tool set in the back so you will find different electrician multi-tools but they usually always have awful tools on their handles so this is probably the best one to date I've seen that's out currently. There have been some better ones in the past, but as of right now, this is one of the only ones on the market. All right, so how this system works, I was a little concerned about this. It, it looks a little crooked, but how this system works, let's see, we can, you can actually flip this. So 
All right, so let's go ahead and so we can get that there and then we flip that in place and then it closes. Now you will also notice there's a gap here where it doesn't close all the way. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way or not. So right here we have this, the needle nose, and then what we can do is we can snap it around here and then we have this. And then it doesn't close this way, I guess, is how that works. So you have to, you have to change it to the needle nose for it to close, is what it seems like. So a very unique system. I was very excited to get this. Now, part of the problem perhaps was this is how my box came in the mail. Now, it did come in about 10 to 12 days from AliExpress to uh, central, the central U.S., so very, very quick. But, I mean, this is how I got it. It was sort of crushed together. So that could be some of the issue with the multi-tool. And then this is the case, so pretty generic. It does have this sort of like clip there, which I guess is all right, but very generic multi-tool as well. And then again, these are the instructions. So you have, let's do the uh, English. So we have the pliers, five sizes of wire stripper. We have the ruler, the file, the serrated blade, the rope cutter, flat screwdriver, a box cutter. So they call that a screwdriver on the end. I don't think I looked into that. Okay, so this right here, the screwdriver and the box cutter and cable cutter. So they have this as the box cutter as well. That's unique. Not only a rope cutter, but a box cutter. So on this right here, they have, I guess, sharpened the edge of that to make that a cutter. And then you have the double head screwdriver, socket, saw blade, knife, and scissors. So overall, if the system, if the pliers met, I think it would be a really good multi-tool, perhaps for electricians and uh, for other people as well, maybe to throw in your vehicle. But as it stands right now, unfortunately, these pliers do not meet together. Again, I'll probably hold on to these. I don't really want them sent back overseas and have to, even though the shipping was quick, I'm not sure how the return process will go. So I'll think about that. But that's how the tool is. Very unique, very unique.